Today we'll take a look at how to create 360 panoramic photos for Facebook using Photoshop. To begin with, we need to take into account that panorama photos on Facebook require a 2 to 1 aspect ratio. I recommend 6000 by 3000 pixels for your canvas size inside of Photoshop. Next, drag in the photo you intend on using. I recommend using a panorama since this has the biggest field of view. You can hold Shift Alt to stretch out the vertical height a little bit. Don't overdo it since you don't want the stretch marks to ruin the field of view. Now we can right click on our image layer and select Rasterize Layer. We do this so we can make a selection. Next, select the Magic Wand tool and select the empty area at the top, holding Shift to add an additional selection at the bottom. Go to Select, Modify, Expand and expand the selection by 5 pixels. We do this to create a little overlap so that we can blend the background easier. Now go to Edit, Content Aware Fill. Wait a moment for it to process, then press OK. Our background has now been filled. We can now remove the selection by going to Select, Deselect, or pressing Ctrl D as a shortcut. If you see any inaccurate areas, you can fix them with the Clone Stamp tool. Select the Clone Stamp tool, and then sample some areas by holding Alt and painting over them. Next, we need to consider that this image will be stitched into a sphere, and once these two edges converge, we'll be able to see a sharp line in 3D mode. So to combat this, keep the image layer selected, choose the Rectangular Marquee tool, and then select a small area on the left side. Press Ctrl J to create a new layer, and then Ctrl T to have it selected, and move it all the way to the right side. Now right click on it, and flip horizontally, so this edge will match perfectly with the one on the left. The issue we have now is that we have formed a new edge on the left. We can take care of this by holding Ctrl, selecting the layer thumbnail, and then creating a new layer mask. Now hold Ctrl again, but this time select the layer mask. Select the gradient tool with a black to white effect selected, usually found in the basics folder. Drag a line from left to right about three quarters of the way to create a smooth transition line. Now go to select, deselect to finalize. Save the file as a JPEG by going to file, save as. Once the JPEG options window pops up, set the quality to something like 7 to avoid a large format. The final step is to go to the website called theexifer.net and upload your exported panoramic image. Select the blue button labeled exif.me, go down until you see the make tab and type in Ryko. Then in the model tab, type Ryko Theta S. Scroll down all the way to the bottom and press the blue button labeled Go Exifing. You should see a green success message at the top stating that the file has been modified. Close the editor and select the green button labeled Download Me. This should by default save in your download folder, so now you can go to your Facebook page and upload this new file. Once it's uploaded, you can use your cursor to move around the image or use your phone for a more intuitive experience. And this was Design Dummy.